Hello, everybody. Good morning. Rose Thorne here. Today, I'm reacting to Foodie Beauty's live stream, which is still in progress, called This Will Never Work. You do you, but don't lie. So I'm waking up this morning to a whole lot of things on YouTube going on and a lot of things that I have to do. I've got so much to catch up on because while I was sleeping, a lot of things happened. So last night I had a really wicked, nasty, extremely painful earache headache. And while I had the headache earache thing happening, Twitter was blowing up, YouTube was blowing up. And why was that happening? Because Gary Unfiltered was doing a live last night, minding his business. He was reacting to one of the live streams that Natter was doing. And wouldn't you know that Natty Daddy went on his other channel, the Natty Daddy channel. And Natter made a point to react to Gary. Gary came back from break from doing his live stream. And Natter decided to turn on Gary's live stream and react to him. So Gary heard about it. And he was reacting to him, reacting to Nata, reacting to him. <laughs> it, it, was, it was complete madness, but it made for fantastic content because Nata was getting drunk and he was getting mad. And there was a part of the reaction where Gary revealed to Nata that, yes, Chantal made fun of his cooking. She said the chicken was raw, and Natter just absolutely snapped. <laughs> hey, man, you know, <laughs> be careful stepping in the ring with somebody that knows how to actually throw punches. So, yeah, it was, it was, it went down that way. And Chantal is doing a live stream right now, and she's mad. She's mad. By the way, during that live stream where Natter was going completely off, Natter said some very inappropriate things. Uh, it got back around that during that stream, I couldn't watch it. I was talking to people on Discord. That Natter made some threats against people and their children, which is a big no-no. Again, that's another reason why Twitter was blowing up. And during that stream, Chantal actually called Natter and... For the longest, his stream was doing the circle of death thing. Me, it was processing. She was on the phone with him, probably yelling at him and telling him to shut up. So a lot of things happened last night. And the live stream that we're going to watch today, Chantal is grumpy and going off about Natter. I guess she's mad at him again and saying they're not talking, blah, blah, blah. Don't believe that. I don't believe it at all. You know, there's also the stuff that I talked about yesterday. She did a live stream talking about Pete will be better off by himself, blah, blah, blah. Do I think that that's fake? It could be. I mean, that's the sad thing about Chantopolis. You got to doubt everything that comes out of Chantal's mouth. You got to question everything that comes out of her mouth and the reason why. Because it could be fake. It could be phony. It could be for money. It could be for views. Uh, the drama yesterday, it could have been just her way of trying to get people to feel sorry for Pete's and he gets extra money on his channel, extra views. Like I said, you got to be skeptical with this whole thing, you know, just because of the way Chantal works. She put, she does everything with purpose, usually for financial purpose. So you got to question it all. And really the only way to find out if anything is true is to wait until something actually happens then you know for sure that it's true but i'm going to react to this stream there's going to be no comments below it yet but I, I like i said i've got things to do i want to cover gary's stream i've got other things that i need to cover i cannot wait around for this stream to be done and then do the comments and all that i just i've got a busy day excuse me i am so sorry i've got a busy day planned so i gotta get going with this uh, so sorry for anyone who likes the comments. My apologies, guys. Uh, we can't do it at least with this live stream today. So let me just go ahead and share the screen so you guys can see. Because uh, Chantal's mad. 
which that should make for great content. I haven't even seen all the streams. So let's get to, let's get to, and we'll skip ahead if we need to. Let's go. I had coffee. Let's go to the beach. I blocked an otter for good. Oh, Lord. Before we even get started, look. Look who's in the chat. Look. Real freaking drama. Do you know who that is? That's CJ. That's RSN. RSN, listen, stop licking Chantal's behind, will you? She's not going to come back on your channel. She's not going to go on panel again. So you can use her for views. Just stop it. You're being shameful right now. This is embarrassing. Cut it out. You know, you mute, you milked her for views. You got what you could out of it. She's not going to come back on, bro. She's not. Leave it alone. And he's going to watch this. So here's my message to you. I am sorry for being so back and forth. Coffee and cleavage. It, this is good. <laughs> I know it's hard to take me seriously. It's hard to take myself seriously. Um, it's not the first time I've actually blocked him, but it's not. It's rare that I actually block, block, block him. Miss Tian, and I'm doing that because it has to happen. Like watching his. I posted his stream. The the thumbnail made me laugh. Like I I I woke up and I'm like, what did I miss last night? I see Gary, this guy's face, like looking like a buzzing fridge face. And so there you are trying to shame Gary for the way he looks. Chantal, have you looked in the mirror? Have you? You are a 38 year old woman, madam. You are someone that you sit in your bedroom amongst filth. You do not carry yourself well as far as your appearance. You don't bathe. You don't take a shower. Gary comes on stream ready to go. He's, you know, freshly showered, hair combed. He's ready. He's taking the professional approach. You, not so much. You want to shame somebody for their appearance, ma'am. You've got to be in a position to where maybe you've got some pull. You don't. I mean, right now, you're doing this live stream. Your bandana does not match your bikini top. You're coming on camera dressed in a bikini top, okay, and pants, and your little turban thing. Does that look professional? No. No, it doesn't. You don't want people to shame you because of your body size, but yet you here you are shaming somebody else because of the way they look. You can't expect people to follow rules that you're not following. In his thumbnail, and I know I knew he hated Gary. He's like, I'm gonna react to this fat fuck, I swear to God. And I know, look, yes, he calls him fat, fat shames him. Yeah, and I find that funny. If Natter is going to shame Gary for his weight and yet look who he hangs out with this person Chantal who's much bigger than Gary isn't that something isn't that curious that he's going to shame someone like Gary who is not the size of Chantal so imagine just imagine that he's shaming someone like Gary. He's not as big as Chantal. Can you imagine how he feels about Chantal, who's bigger than Gary? She's twice the size of Gary. Hmm. Wonder what his real thoughts are. And I'm fat. I know. But you know what? That guy fat. That guy fat shame. That guy is fucking mean to me too. He's nasty. The way he talks about fucking people. So fuck him. He does look like a fridge face fat fuck. And. Uh, so are you admitting that you watch Gary? <laughs> You're kind of admitting that you watch Gary. See, Miss, I don't care what other people have to say. You watch other reactors, don't you? You're nosy. Yes, you're nosy. Come on, foodie, just admit it. You're nosy. You're nosy. You're in everybody's chats. You watch the reaction channels. Yes, ma'am. And... 
Gary is just, he's a Southern boy. He's going he's gonna to give it to you straight. He shoots straight from the hip. He tells it like it is. That's what I like about Gary. There ain't no nonsense about Gary. You know, he gives you truth, full strength, no chaser. And that's the one thing you don't like is truth. You don't, people who live in a life with lies don't like people who are truthful. You don't like him because of that. Because he'll tell you the truth. But he got shit-faced, yeah. Yep. But it really pisses me off to hear him say, like, he specifically goes out of his way to be like, I don't have a girlfriend. Here's why you have a girlfriend, Natter, okay? You can call me your not girlfriend, just like uh, you can lie your way out of a lot of shit. But I have like. Well, hold on, I'm I'm confused, y'all. Let, let's back up just a second. But I thought they were just friends, right? They're just friends, and they're working on their friendship. So why would it bother her if he did not call her his girlfriend? Friend is one thing girlfriend is another so if you're just working on a friendship why does it bother you if he doesn't call you his girlfriend if you're not his girlfriend like literal dms of you literally telling me you love me and that you want to live with me um so there's a lot of dms i'm sure you wouldn't want to be public so i'm just saying just maybe like actually like come on live and be like yeah i did have some, like i don't understand this no i deserve i deserve that because you know what i put up with a lot of his shit and i do a lot for him and i fucking oh there we go there it is i was waiting for it there it is there it is y'all there it is i do so much for him everything with Chantal is with purpose. Everything. She lives her life with purpose. Not the kind of purpose she should have. The kind of purpose that is self-serving. It's all about, I'll do something, but I want something back from somebody. She is that person. It's all transactional. She comes on camera doing the content that she does for a reason. Because she wants to make money, either from Google AdSense or catering to those awful, awful theater fetish people. You know, she does fetish content on a non-adult forum when she should do it on an adult forum where it belongs. She brings the drama, she talks about toxic topics, and she triggers different communities on purpose for a reason, for monetary gain. This person is not truly generous. She's not truly good hearted. Because if she were that person, that she would just do things to be a good person. The fact that she does things with purpose, for self-serving purpose, is evident when she says, I did so much for him. Someone who does things for someone and they keep track of all the things they do. They list them down. And then say things like that just shows you she's self-serving and always will be self-serving. That's not a generous good-hearted person that is a selfish person who does things for leverage and for gain do a lot for him like you don't even know well you do know yeah we well, do Latina know Linda, welcome to Grand Park Beauty's ready set piece and Dee, Dee just so you know go ahead and fucking sue me I cannot wait to take you to court because you know what bitch you deserve everything you have coming to you. You inserted yourself in this shit. You inserted yourself. You laughed at me with him. So you deserve it. You deserve it. I don't feel bad for you at all. Kiss my fat ass. Okay. On that note, I just want to say this. Here's what I think about the whole Didi Natter 
Chantal situation. I've said this before, I'll say it again, for those who are new to my channel. I think that they're all in it together for monetary gain. I think that the drama between all three is fake and phony. I stand by that. I think that they put on one impression on camera and there's something entirely different going on off camera. Yes, I do. Do I think that Chantal would rather have Natter all to herself rather than DDB around? Of course I do. And that might be part of the reason why she's looking for a place for him and her. That she knows that going head to head with Natter is not going to work. She's been trying it for about a year, hasn't worked so far. But she's trying it in a subtle way, try to get Natter more to herself than Natter living with Didi and having to share him. Will that work? Don't know. Really don't know. But I don't think she hates Didi nearly as much as she says on camera. I'm because, y'all, seriously, if you hate somebody, could you do something intimate with that person more than once? No. That doesn't make sense. You think the judge won't take one fucking look at you and be like, look at what happened and be like, yeah, I would have went off too. I'm not excusing my abusive behavior, but fuck that. So you admit that you're abusive. You admit it. That's something I've known. You, you've made, you painted this picture to the public that Natter's the bad guy. Natter did everything. But I've always had a sneaking suspicion that you were abusive too, Foodie, at least verbally abusive. You know, given your personality and the fact that you just can't control yourself, I've always thought that, that you had a hand in maybe some of the fights that happened. Not saying that Natter should ever put his hands on you, but I've always had a feeling that you were abusive, at least verbally. You and him put me through a lot of shit, a lot of shit. And you know what? I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with me at the end of the day just looking like a liar and getting fucked over and getting nothing out of it except for more debt. There we go again. I'm getting nothing out of it. See? Self-serving monetary gain. I'm doing all of this because I want something back. That is a self-serving, non-generous person talking right there. More debt and what? For nothing. And by the way, foodie, it's your money. It's your life. If you choose to spend money on someone or something and you're not getting back what you want out of it, whose fault is that? That's yours. Because you made those choices. You made those decisions, didn't you? Nobody forced you. You did it willingly because you were being self-serving at the time. And you wanted something back. And if you did not get back what you wanted, that's your fault. Because of the choices that you made. And if we're going to further clarify how things are, and we are, that money that you're spending, you really didn't earn, did you? You turned on your camera on YouTube and you just babbled. You didn't really go out and earn that money. It was given to you by other people. So trying to put off this impression that, oh, I worked hard and so forth and, and they're spending my money. No, ma'am, you were spending other people's money that they gave you and you made the choice to take that money and do something else with it rather than better yourself. So no pity for you. He's embarrassed to be with you, Shanjali. He's obviously hateful to five people. You don't think he's using you and Didi like banks and objects? Beezer Juice, I know that you guys say that, like, without effort. Like, it's an actual thing. Like, to me, like, do people really fucking exist like that in life? That, like, how can you spend so much time with somebody? How can you be all up in my fupa and not like me at all? Because of your money, stupid. Listen, you just said in this live stream that he was making fun of Gary, right? You said that. And as I have mentioned, Gary is not your size. He's smaller. So can you imagine what he thinks about you, Chantal? I mean, we saw the live stream where he was making fun of your weight. He put on one of your dresses. He put pillows beneath his the, the dress. 
and he was making fun of how big you are, you know, pretending to be farting and all that. And, and they, he was going off about how big you were. He was making fun of you. Really? You, you, don't, you don't think that he thinks a certain way about you in his head? Come on now. Get real. Like, I feel bad for you. If you're fucking me this whole time for money, I feel bad for you. What the fuck? Well, common sense, Chantal says, if you're paying him thousands of dollars a month, every month for like the past year, and that system has not been broken yet, he's not seeing you and having occasions with you for free. Yeah, hello, it must be for the money. He's getting money from you and that's why he's putting up with being intimate with you once in a while. God knows it's not because he adores you. I mean, you make a point to be as foul and disgusting as possible. You don't bathe, you don't wash your clothes, you don't brush your teeth. He's not with you because he is turned on by you. Call me number for five months, rent nine months, ready, set, rubies. You deserve love. That's all I want. You're not going to get it. Not this way. You don't pay for love, dummy. Anyway. So. This is what, this is the deal with me. This is my dilemma with matter, okay? It's like, if I'm truthful, he gets super mad. Like, he gets super, super mad because it makes him look bad. The truth makes him look fucking bad. Well, the situation that the two of you are both in, you, you both already look bad. How much worse can it be? Seriously. I don't think it's a matter of him looking bad. I think Mr. Natter... He just doesn't want to claim you because A, he doesn't love you. B, he's a grifter. Grifters, they have to remain single for a reason because that means they can work other targets while they're working you. That's really what it boils down to. It's not about, oh, he cares about his privacy. No, he cares about the grifting game and continuing it with other people. You know, by being alone, he can say whatever he needs to say to whoever he needs to say it to get their money. He can talk to certain women in his chat and go, oh, Chantal's coming after me and she's being so mean to me and I don't know where I'm going to go. I need money. And he can talk to other women and say, yeah, I, I'm really interested in you and I really like you. Can you send me some money? He can pull the grift on other women by not claiming you. The moment that a grifter admits they have a girlfriend, especially one with lots of money, the grift game with other women is over. No matter which way you fucking throw it. He doesn't want anything to make him look bad. You know what would make you look less bad? Just being truthful. I, I, the, not being able to be truthful 100% stresses me out, and it will never work for that reason. So stay away from me, because as long as you're in my life, and there's things that bother me. I'm going to vent to them. I'm going to vent about it with my beezers. I cannot. I cannot live a private life. So if you're with me, okay, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. We all know you cover for him. Yep. You guys know that for real. Yep. Oh hi! Oh God. Stop it. Fun. You have to see the doctors today. Don't forget. Yeah, you really look ready to go to the doctor, Chantal. Yes, you do! <laughs> I'm going to attempt to, because he's very... I did get a lot of his mats out. He's very nervous about leaving the house. Are you going to be okay, Sam? He almost had a yeah, I wonder if she cut some of the mats out of his fur, so when she takes him to the vet... The vet won't be giving her the side eye because he's going to be looking at that cat saying, this cat is extremely matted. I wonder if it's been neglected. She probably cut the mats out so the vet won't give her the side eye. The heart attack. Yes. Yes. Why don't you give BBJ the same kind of cuddling attention you do, Sam? Why is it always Sam? 
Sam gets all the love and BBJ gets nothing. I can't even deal. Like, I want to, like, punch him in the face. Like, that's how annoying he is at this point. Sorry, I have to get that off my chest. I didn't tell him that, but I think he could sense it because I'd be like, seriously? Like, why? Like, what's wrong with you? Go to a fucking doctor. <laughs> yeah, like you Tina. He's sick of living with duty and he wants to live. I don't know what their deal is. I don't care. I have to realize they've been probably been lying to me the whole time. You know, as I said, I feel like that's all this is all made up drama the fact that oh i don't i didn't know they were sleeping together chantal listen you had an intimate occasion with them both before your trip to cuba how can you not know i i don't understand how she's putting off this picture of i did not know that they were sleeping together when they slept with each other right in front of her how do you not know when they did it in front of you? I just want him out of my fucking life. Like I really do. Then stop going around him. Stop giving him money. Stop running to Montreal. This is easy. He doesn't even live in the same town you do. You're the idiot that keeps running back and forth to him. You're saying I, I just want to I just want him out of my life and stay away from him. This is so simple. I really want him out of my life. Like I, he's not good for my life in any way. Like in any way. I thought for some crazy reason. I always say for some crazy reason I can make this work. But it's just not going to. It's just it's just gonna be more misery, more depression. Honestly, Nader, just fucking go work somewhere and be with Dee Dee. That's your best bet right now. That is how he truly feels. Uh, and I see Carly Steele is in the chat giving her tips and advice about the litter box, that the, uh, the automatic litter box. I've heard that those are really great. But here's the problem, even with that, who's gonna clean up the solid poop that it pushes out? I mean, that's a great suggestion, Carly. I mean, that way the litter box would stay clean. But even still, if they use pretty litter, they gotta change it once a month and neither one of those idiots thinks about changing a litter box. Sometimes I'm okay with, Rachel, I try so hard to make something that doesn't make sense work. And I know I could never, I know I can't be friends with someone like who I secretly hate deep down. Like I have a, a loathing for every fucking time you fucking did something bad to me, I fucking hate you. And I can't ever not, I don't know if I can get over it. Mm, I'm tired. Told you guys that's happened to me has happened to me. That's it. I've tried to make it I've tried to make it less seem less impactful so that I could have a fucking relationship with him and you would accept it, which is fucking ridiculous for me to expect of people to tell you all these horrible things and then expect you to eat it up and be like okay with this, but that's how like real life works a lot like it's not easy to leave he wouldn't even buy burger king i know i'm sorry for lying to you guys it feels so dark it feels dark and dirty and i don't like it anymore Oh, she says that, and look at the freeze frame. 
She says that and she's looking down and duper's delight. Look at that smirk. You're a line B. You're such a line B. You adore Natter because the two of you are the same. You're both grifters. And I think one the other reasons why you're so obsessed with this dude is that, you know, you're both grifters and you feel like if you team up for life, you can pull some really great scams together. And that's how I would be with him. And I don't want to, I don't want that life, guys. I do have self-respect, Autumn, and I think this is why it always eats away at me. That's what it is. It's my self-respect. You don't have any. Pizza's not moving. No, of course not. I don't want to live without pizza, I don't think. I mean, a part of me does want to have my own independence, but he is a supportive person in my life. Like, You know, let's talk about that a minute, the whole talk about her getting rid of Pete. This is like the second time that she's mentioned it now. She, way before, a way a while ago, y'all remember, those of you who watched on Talk for a while, she talked about it. And I feel at the time she was fishing. She was fishing to see how people would take it, how the audience would react. She was fishing with her audience. And based on their response, she could either leave or not leave. At the time, she also talked about getting rid of the cats. Again, she was fishing. How would the audience take it? How would that affect my channel? When everybody was in an uproar about her getting rid of Pete and getting rid of the cats, she stopped talking about it. Now here she is talking about it yet again. She's wondering, how is that going to affect my channel? How is that going to affect my numbers? Is my channel going to tank if I do these things? If she's going to get rid of Pete and the cats, I've got a very strong feeling, y'all, that if that happens, it's going to be sudden and it's going to be quick. But right now, she's just milking the idea for extra views and extra money. She likes to do that. She likes to play with people's feelings and get extra money out of it. But it could end up happening. It feels like even though I pay for everything right now, he paid, he, I put him into like debt. He's paid up when we were together, I put him through a lot of it. So I'm making up for it now. Right. You know, not trying to be nosy. I know this is like personal stuff, but I would like to know exactly how much debt Chantal put him in because he's been living with her for th for a while and I know that part of that time he had a job although she has paid all of the rent and and the food and all that and I told it up to her you know she's paid quite a few thousand dollars like she's paid between 30 to 50 grand for this dude for him to live there expense free that's a lot of money. I'm just wondering how much debt did she put him in that she feels she has to continue paying? Besides that, at some point, he's going to have to let go of her. He can't expect her to pay for him for life. You know, he, she just, he just can't expect that. That's not healthy for him. He needs to have his own money. I think he would feel better making his own way rather than relying on her all the time. It's his mental state has eroded severely since being with Chantal. But I'm wondering exactly how much debt did she put him in that she feels like she's got to continue paying? Eight. I need to go for a shit. I'll be right back. He's ashamed to be with you. Well, you know what? From now on, I'm never going to be with a man who's ashamed. You know, do you know how you guys can tell this whole thing is phony and fake and I'm never talking to him again? Because if it were real, she would be completely beside herself right now. She would be crying. She'd be freaking out over the idea that her and Nata are done done. If she's not freaking out, they're not done. Do you want to have lunch with the motorcycle guy? Yeah, sure, motorcycle guy, sure, whatever. And who is she talking to okay, on the phone? For a minute.
Yeah, because anyway, so yeah, the person calling at oh Chantal Marie. You still want the apartment on? I can't even remember what street it is. No, I'm no longer interested. She says that with a smile. You can read my lips if you want. And he'd be like, oh, whatever, you eat fucking Nashies. Yeah, but my Nashies, you don't get secondhand cancer from Nashies, you fucking jerk. <laughs> No, he made a joke. He's like, yeah, well, what about when you fart in my face all night and I'm both skinny because you're farting on me? <laughs> Just from literal haters. Like, dude, I'm a hater, but I, I'm swallowing my pride to fucking tell you to leave matter. <laughs> if, if people who hate me are wishing that I would get the fuck away from somebody... This is a really bad sign. <laughs> you know, I think that Chantal wants everyone to hate Natter. She gets a kick out of being with a bad boy. She She's a very defiant person. She gets a kick out of doing things that people tell her not to do. She gets a rush out of this whole situation. <laughs> stress he puts all the stress on me too like he doesn't take any responsibility for it it's like my problem that i need to find him a place it's like my problem like i i'm just expected to pay for the place too like no i'm just expected to pay for the fuck come on sam i'm gonna bring you outside later yeah i'm just expected to fucking pay for everything like even just offering to buy me a fucking soda would be nice. He's never, like, the whole time I've been with him, he's never even bought me a single soda. Like, at all. Well, that's because usually before you show up to his place or after you leave, you are chugging sodas like there's no tomorrow. And you're stopping by fast food places and Starbucks. You know, you got to get your diabetes in a cup. And you're shoving Nashies down your throat. Why is he going to, you know, throw junk food down your throat when you do plenty of that yourself? Chubby McZeus. My feelings. So he would take me by the hand and come live with me and be like, I have done some bad things to this woman I love so much. And I want... So, <laughs> this is another one of her fantasies. Obviously, that this is another one of her fantasies that he's going to turn into a great guy and he's going to take her hand and come on camera and say to the whole world, world, this is Natter El Shammy. And I, as a man, I have been wrong. I have wronged this woman, this wonderful, generous jewel of a woman. I have wronged her. She's done so many things for me, and I have been so ungrateful and so low. I've taken advantage of her, and I have not appreciated the woman that she is. And I'm ashamed of myself. I'm so ashamed, and I love her. I have realized my wrongs. I have seen the light. Hallelujah. I love her. Chantal, that's a fantasy in your head, girl. It ain't never going to happen. He's not that guy. Stop it. I want to apologize and make it up to you every day of my life. <laughs> no, because you're right. He doesn't love me. This is not. This is about his image. He needs me for his image. And now nah, he needs you for the money, period. Anything he needs is for him. Shit. Own your shit and apologize and be a better person. Why don't you own your shit and apologize for all the people you've triggered, for all the toxic topics you've talked about, for all the communities that you've affected? Why don't you start by apologizing to people? 
for all the people in your VIB chat that you've talked down to and blocked just because you were in a mood. There's a lot that you have to apologize for, foodie, and you haven't even started. I think people would just respect him more if he just admitted what a piece of crap he's been and, and Not really. tries to be better. But he'll never do that because people like him don't change. Neither do you. And that's, I, that's, you're not the only woman who goes back and forth on this subject, especially when you keep getting baited by him. But the thing is, is like, that is, like that motorcycle that I was so loving. I feel like going out. Like that? Where should I go? But you got to go to the vet soon. Get ready for that. I know. That was it. That's what happened. To, uh, it's just cooler to, to follow the crowd and hate her for no fucking reason. I'll be addressing FFG with a lot of fucking reports. Don't worry. Oh, here we go again. Are, are we in this part of the cycle now? Her going after reaction channels? It, it, are, are we here again, Chantal? Are we? Madam, let me remind you that you need the reaction channels. You may not like the things that we have to say, but you need us because in an indirect way, we are promoting you. By promoting you, that means perhaps more subscribers for your channel, more super chats, more membership signups. If you want to know what happens to a channel like yourself and the reaction channels stop reacting, look at your friend, Amberlyn Reed. She's so thirsty for attention, she's doing reactions to herself now because nobody really covers her like they used to. Take a look at Amber and see what's happened to Amber and ask yourself, do I want that happening to me? I don't think you do. I think you need all the money in your pocket that you can get and you need to leave the reaction channels alone because what we're doing is fair use and transformative. We are not taking your footage and uploading it as is on our channels. We are transforming it. We are doing editing. We're adding commentary. There's really nothing for you to go after, madam. There's nothing. So stop with the fake, phony threats. You fight us, we're going to fight back. You like to go after the smaller channels. You tried it with Mrs. Fields. Mrs. Fields flipped you the middle finger and she fought back, which probably shocked you because you thought the smaller channels would never fight back. We will. We will. We put a lot of hard work into our channels. We're not going to let you take it away from us or destroy it. No. No. Just stay over there in your messy corner and do your messy content and be quiet. They're going to be all getting there. It's all those hateful assholes who leech off me are going to be getting their day. You know, I find it weird. You've got a problem with reaction channels saying that we leech off of you when you leech off of other people, don't you? You literally turn on the camera and do nothing. You don't provide great content. You literally put your hand out and expect other people to put money in it. But yet you've got a problem with us. And can I just say this to you, Chantal? Being a foodie beauty reactor, it's practically a full-time job from morning until night, having to keep up with all your nonsense. For you, it's easy. You just turn on a camera and start blabbing. For us, we're the ones working on your content. We put more work into your content than you do because we got to go through all the garbage, six to nine hours worth a day, find the stuff that's interesting, do the editing, cut it all down to where it's palatable. It's a full-time job. So no, ma'am, we're not leeching off of you. We actually put work into your content work that thing you haven't done the longest work yeah that i know i do having to keep up with you are you kidding me 
I, I've, I'm already behind and it, it's only like 11 o'clock. I got to get going. That's why I can't even wait for the comments. So shut up talking about us leeching. You're a leech. You're a big old leech. Yeah, don't you worry about it. I like her grow her channel a bit more. That's all. The alt writers are really cruel. <laughs> What's an alt? He freaks, 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 freaks out. Lambo! Fuck you. The mustard on the chin had me laughing, yeah. Yeah, you're allowed to hate him. I don't like him either. Yeah, you continue to have sex with him. I know I do. Supposed to have my video. Video. It's a video of him dancing at the Grey Gardens. At the Gardens. And I don't want to edit it because it's annoying. I'm just going to send him all this. No, I have, I'm not going to send him the shit. Thank you, I guess. And you know, the thing is, if she wants to edit his videos, if she doesn't want to see them, all he would have to do is send her the video. She could edit it at home and then send it back. She doesn't have to go see him for that. What in the world? What happened to her eyebrow? What did I miss? <laughs> what in the... This is the only man I need in my life. Did she draw on herself? What happened to her eyebrow? What is going on with that eyebrow? Girl, Baby, what? can you get your man? He's a righteous man. <laughs> He's a poser. He's a... Thing you've said I love. <laughs> I actually love when my haters validate me. Clap back, lean into it, make bang. Fuck. I don't want to stress myself out. What do you think of my look? I think you're hot. I'm nice. I just don't like you telling lies for money. Like you're doing? Are you fucking crazy? Like that's literally what you do. You tell lies for money. Who is she talking to? So what's your tactic? You're going to come in here accuse me of lying so I go on your panel and tell you off? I'm not going on your panel. I'm sorry. Oh, is she talking about RSN? Listen. You know, I'm just going to say this about RSN. He's just, he's someone, he's not directly involved in Shantopolis. He's not a reaction channel. He's he's kind of on the outside of things. But he's still, he's trying to find a way to get a piece of the foodie beauty pie, the, the reaction channel pie, without actually being a reaction channel. So he wants her on panel and he takes her on panel. And he, he, he basically says, oh, I don't know what's going on. I want you to explain it to me. RSN, there are so many reaction channels, so many highlight videos you can watch to learn things about foodie. How can you be someone that you interview a subject and you don't do any homework on the subject? You deliberately play dumb on purpose just so you won't make her angry by asking her hard questions. We know the game that you're playing over here. We know. We know. And now you're trying to play nice with her and try to get her back on panel because you want that foodie beauty money. Tell the truth. Be honest. Be honest, bro. It's not going to happen. <clears throat> give me 500 bucks right now and I'll do it. If you give me. Oh. <laughs> so she wants RSN to pay her money to be on panel. <laughs> she thinks she's such a valuable commodity. You're going to pay me to be on panel. Nah, you're not that valuable, Chantal. Give me 500 bucks. I'll go on your panel. If you send me 500 bucks on my PayPal, I'll do it. Sure. Sure you'll go on panel. So take the money and run, son. Nobody hates you, Chantal. We care about you. Thank you. I don't hate you. You're just a train wreck. I watch nothing more and nothing less. I wouldn't consider being called unstable validation. Okay, so 65 bucks a month. 
Our membership plans offer convenient, all-inclusive pricing that makes it easier to manage ongoing pet care costs. Membership plans are billed on a monthly basis. So she, now she's looking at stuff to take care of the cats at a time when she might be moving out or Pete's are moving out or somebody's moving out. Now's the time to invest in your pets. Girl, buy. Girl, buy. All these months that you've not invested in your pets, girl, buy. Not saying she should not invest in her pets because it's never too late per se. But why the sudden need to invest in the pets now? Why? And you know what, Chantal, if you are a real pet owner, you wouldn't be doing this in front of people for show, for money. You would just do it. You know what I mean? You, take, you don't need a, a, any kind of fanfare to take the cats to a groomer's or a vet. You just do it. As a pet owner, you just do it. You know? You don't need to sit there and look at all kinds of plans and subscriptions online in front of people. You're doing this for attention. And come with a 12-month commitment. We also offer a five. Why not start with a free 30 minute video consult for you and your four legged friend you can get to know one of our veterinarians before committing to a membership. Okay, let's do that. Get in touch with us. I'm gonna oh, by the way, Chantal, no vet is going to be able to look at your pet online and say what's wrong with them and say what they need. You know, there are different places you can call. Like if you've got a question about what to do they're they're like numbers. But for a proper diagnosis, you've got to take them in. There's no way around it. Or I've been saying this for the longest, Chantal, if you need to take your cat to the vet and you do not want to be bothered with driving your cat to the vet or in the case of BBJ, because she doesn't like car rides, mobile vets, mobile vets, they'll come out and take care of a lot of things, including grooming. You can call the groomers. They'll come to you, dummy. I'm going to sign up right now. I'm going to sign up. So attractive. So, yeah, this mobile groomers for 65 a month. You can afford that. That's 65 times 2, 130. On the cat. Plus their cat food is two bucks a day. I give them each a can. Six bucks a day to feed my cats. That's just the wet food. Um, excuse me. You should be giving them two each two cans a day. Like one in the morning, one at night, because like protein, meat, it, it sits out for hours, it goes bad. Um, yeah, so more than one can a day, you selfish wench. 180 a month. That's going on. I need. Mean, <laughs> oh my god. Why have I not known about this channel? What the fuck? His videos are literally like dopamine for me when I'm fucking like. Hold on. I need to see more of this. another day i don't know the words you want me to okay here stay another day by e17 baby if you oh, oh god shut baby. up Chantal. shut up joe i'm not in the mood for her singing oh, you today. don't joe beef not in the mood sam we're gonna cut your nails later and the vet's gonna come in and see you, so you don't have to. No, no. How about let the vet cut the nails? Let the vet do it. I don't trust you. You don't know what you're doing. Good. I'm not stressing my man. I'm not stressing my man. And I got his mat so he's not know soft so it's like he can stop. Every night, I think they both lie to me. I should read between the lines. Anyways, I'm not gonna be lied to. I'm not going oh, to be. Shut up! You're a big old liar. Big old liar. Big old liar. Okay. I wonder if there's any comments because it just ended. If there are, we'll include them. Hold up. 
I wonder if she's going to delete this. <laughs> you never know with Chantal. Oh, there are some comments. Yay. Okay. Janet Whitman says, how she changes her mind about DVSAR is actually scary. Three of the most sensitive subjects for women. And she uses it as a way to get back at her ex. It's almost like she's desperate to be a victim of any of them by him. I really hope any man run as fast as possible in the opposite direction from her creepy. Yeah, Chantal likes to paint herself the victim because as long as she's the victim in something, she's not to blame. That's why she likes to be the victim. Coco B says, someone is salty as heck. You change your mind over and over. You bring it to the public. It's your fault people come for you. Yep. Yep. D don't, don't come crying to us because of things that you do that you choose to do. You know, like your choice is your life, but don't come crying to us because you choose to do something. Jack Douglas says, here we go on bad terms with Natter. The SADV is once again, 100% real. You need serious help. She needs help for a lot of things, but she'll never get it. SAG Ascending says, how is taking a screen grab of you fat shaming? I know, right? How is that How is that fat shaming? They're just taking a picture. They're not taking the picture and doing some, some kind of editing and emphasizing it or something. It's just, it is what it is. God knows she's fat shamed people and she's age shamed people. So what is she talking about? What is she talking about? Like somebody's fat shaming her. Anyway, uh, that's it for the comments, y'all. I'm sorry I didn't wait for the comments, but like I said, I've got a lot to cover today. A lot. I, I've still got to cover what happened between Gary and Natter, and there's a couple other things I want to do. So I got to get started with this. I can't be here all day. Uh, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this React video. If you have, please like it, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and please have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.